Hi, I'm Nani Zulminarni. I'm the founder and director of PEKA, Women Headed Family Empowerment. PEKA is an initiative started in 2001 during post-economic crisis and post-conflict in Indonesia. We organize women-headed family, mostly widows, divorced, single women, abandoned women, uh, in order to empower them so that they can en enable them to overcome their problems, including poverty, social exclusion, uh, and, and also lack of confidence and trauma because most of them are uh, experienced conflict. We started in pro four provinces of Indonesia, mostly conflict and post-conflict area, but now we already work in 20 provinces of Indonesia, working with over 2,500 groups of poor women-headed family. Uh, because we organize we poor, poorest women head of the family in rural areas, we use economic empowerment as entry point. But along the way, we also uh, work on the issues that women face in their lives, such as uh, education, legal empowerment, political empowerment. But the main thing is really to develop the women uh, leadership so that they can engage with the whole uh, decision making from the household level to the state level. PEKA members are facing several problems in their economic participation or economic activities. First of course access to economic resources, including capital, that means cash, and also uh, resource uh, raw materials and market to their uh, product. A saving and lending cooperative of PEKA is not the same as microfinance. Uh, first, the ownership of the, PEKA, uh, the cooperative are the PEKA members. Collectively, uh, they, on, they are not only have access to resources, but also control of uh, financial resources that they collect through this cooperative. So they are not a borrowers, but they, they are the owners of uh, saving and lending co-op. And the second, there are democratic system applied from the beginning, where each individual have only one foot. It doesn't matter how much money they save, how much money they share in the cooperative, but they only have one foot, and they all have the right to be the right to be elected as chair, as a leadership in the system, and also management. And the third, at the end of the year, they will have what they call the annual meeting, where they will announce the uh, the profit then they decide together uh, how they will distribute or share, uh, distribute the profit. Each of members, all the members will get their share at the end of the year based on their contribution to the development of uh, this uh, saving and lending. And the last one also the different, they will decide together how they will spend the profit from the saving and lending, which some of the activities is also some of the resources allocated for social uh, activities. And other, other important thing in PAKA saving and lending co-op, the women can borrow not only for production activities, economic production, I mean, but also can borrow for other needs, including uh, the, the family needs or sending for school fee, for health, for uh, pro property, for own property. For sustainable production and market, we develop what we call as PACA Mart. So as the instrument for this for these women having access to the market, not only as a consumer, but also as production. Uh, the Pakamart also take, take advantage of numbers of members they have. So they already have captive market for their own members. 
and also uh, the producers among the members so the producers can sell their product in Pakamart and the others can buy so it's like exchange their product and uh, until now the challenge for this uh, for Pakamart is more than half of the, of the product they sell actually they buy from other people so that means they need to become more producers rather than only uh, buying from other uh, people so this become our uh, challenge in the future so the the challenge in organizing poor women headed family actually a uh, lack of confidence self confidence because of the problem they face and also very strong social stigma and exclusion for the women who are gender considered gender which is basically widows and divorced in indonesian terminology so they are not in the social system but by joining paka coop they slowly gain their uh, confident because they are not uh, they are, they feel not alone they have many friends and also they have access to financial resources where they can slowly also building their economic activity as well as having property and sending their children to school and in this course also they learn how to become leaders they learn how to become community members they learn how to exercising power to the democratic system they build in the co-op then some of these women are having very extraordinary uh, capacities so with support of the members at their friends at the members there they can also have uh, courage to run for the office for example they run to become a village head supported by members in that particular village so they can get gain for in the election process or they run for the village parliament members there is there is a very strong uh, connection between capacity of these women to engage with the political system in their respected area with their um, membership in the co-op and also because uh, this co-op are growing then become very well recognized in the, their area as uh, owned by the PAKA members so these women get their uh, what people people recognize and respect them they get uh, social status high social status so if we for example if we go one village then it's they Many people will say, oh, you are going to Paka. Paka is a rich organization because now they have uh, co-op with quite a lot of um, capital and also they build their own community learning center with the profit from the co-op. So they gain a lot of recognition and respect from the community. So with that, and their political participation is really expected and a lot of leaders who would like to run for example for the district head always want to have a dialogue with PAKA because in some area PAKA members control over 20 percent voters in that particular area so if one leader would like to win they need to have uh, support from PAKA as well from saving and lending co-op we can see some achievement uh, first achievement of course for the individual of all the members so because they have access to sustainable access to financial resources they can manage their life much better compared than before for example now they can send their children to school until up to the university and also they can um, expand their their uh, economic activities before for example before they only uh, work for other people now they can have their own uh, businesses so this transformation happen a lot to PAKA members and as collective membership organization they there are also some achievement now they have uh, institution financial institution co-op which they own collectively 
So that means they are not depend on other resources. They, they already have their own resources where they can expand also to from only saving and lending. Now they have a kamar, for example. They can also organize uh, weavers collectively, then sell the product uh, collectively, uh, what uh, reach the global market and their production. And also they got a lot of uh, recognition and political status, social political status in their uh, community due to this uh, ownership of cooperative.